Hello everybody and welcome to my library. That is literally insane to say. But hello everyone, it's Chloe here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Before I start, I want to say excuse my makeup. I'm halfway in between getting ready for a night out tonight. But I got ready a bit too early. A girl bossed a bit too hard. So I thought I would just take all my books out and like organize them a bit, I guess. So I'm starting this video officially. If you didn't know, or if you are new here and just watching this first ever video, I have recently moved into my own place with my best friend and I have my own library. And I can't believe I have this whole space. It's literally insane to me. Anyway, regardless, we're gonna be organizing it in this video today. I have done so many of these videos, so I'll link as much as I can below. If you don't know, usually all my shelves are within my room, but this time I have my own room of bookshelves. So I'll give you guys an overview and then I'm just gonna open up the books and probably stack them against the wall. Cause I do have Molly coming over sometime soon to help me organize it. Just to have a little, a little bestie date, you know, her, Annalise and me sorting out my books. That's my dream situation. <laughs> but if you wanna know how I set up my dream bookshelf library area, just keep on watching. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? So for all my newbies, this is my room. That's my nail now. And then across it is the library. So I am a basic bitch and have the Ikea Billy shelves, okay? It's just what works. So I have two large ones and three of the skinny ones and I have extensions on all of them. So I have one skinny one here and then all of the four over here. And then over here, I have all the boxes and just all the knickknacks and stuff. So my plan is to have this shelf as my standalone because that's how I had it at my parents' house. And I just think it fits better. I also think I've done those shelves wrong. Like it doesn't look even up here. But I'm gonna get all these boxes down. I have some books already there that were in a loose box. So that's why they're just chilling there. But I have all of this to go through. So I guess I'm just gonna put all my books here and hope for the best, I guess. I really should have done this when I didn't look this bizarre. Welcome to my channel, I guess. <laughs> Um, it's a new day clearly, but um, my camera broke. I'm currently filming on my phone right now, but I'm filming a ah. Princess Polly haul like right now on a different camera. So I wanted to film this just really quickly and show you guys the update. So that's why I didn't film much of me unboxing all the books, but this is the update on the library. I haven't put anything up. It's fine, you're not missing out. But if you're standing in the doorway, this is what my entire library looks like. This is like double stacked. Um, and then I have all of this as well. This is all garbage, so it's fine. I've just put Sarah J up there because I know that's going up there. My dog is barking, I'm so sorry. But yeah, so that's the update. This is my standalone shelf and then my series shelves. So I'm probably not gonna do much of this today because I do have to film a haul and edit it so it's uploaded and then I will probably maybe do some of this today if I feel up for it. That's the update. That's all I've got to say. So if you have shit quality, not in focus, audio shit, I'm very sorry. <laughs>
is day whatever of me doing this library right now. From the last footage, I finished my standalones, forgot the name of them. I think I'm going to start my sports shelf because I'm pretty sure they take up three different shelves. I am planning on having them very similar to my old shelves. I'm going to do that now. I have no idea if this is in focus or not. I'm so sorry if it isn't, but I have a migraine and I have been cleaning all morning. So I thought this would be a really good, just kind of chill moment even though I think it probably won't be chill because I will be stressing about it. I will be doing my sports shelf because on the books on the floor, there's so many. <laughs> I'll show you. Like, see these two here? Yeah, those are the sport books. I don't know why it has so many sport romances, but they're there and we're going to put them on the shelf. Where God of War is, it's this one, this one, and this one that will be the sports. Well, that's how it was last time. I don't know if I'm going to be changing it up or not, but as of right now, I'm going to leave it as is, so. I finally picked up the entire Legacy of Gods series by Rena Kent. I've read one of these, and it is God of Fury, which I loved. I had to get the whole set, obviously. <laughs> okay, why did I put it there? I had to put books there. As of my old layout, I had the Boy the Tommen series over here. Then I had all of these. And then down here I had, what the fuck is it called? The Al Kennedy series, whatever that's called. Um, I had all of her books down here. And then above this, I had Small Town, which I might do as well. I ended up picking this one up yesterday. This is Fangirl Down by Tessa Bailey. The thing is, I have two sport romances from Tessa and then I have two small town from Tessa. My Tessa Bailey's won't be together but I feel like genre rise is okay. So I got this one yesterday. Exciting. I'm so scared to start this. We have Liz Tomford and the Becca Mac series. I have no idea if you can see properly. I'm just gonna whack them on because then I can just move them around a bit. Does that make sense? I feel like I have to zoom you in a bit because this sun is not doing justice. So these are the two sport Tessa Bailey books I have. Golf and ice hockey, I guess. Is this ice hockey or just hockey? I don't know. I liked her to... I just hit myself in the fucking face. I liked her to small town books. So I'm excited to see the difference with kind of sport, I guess. And then I have the Foxhole Court series. This is like the Amazon covers. I know there is one more I have to get. There's so much color and then there's just the white ones. <laughs> this is the entire Al Kennedy series that I have. That'll go up here somewhere. That I'm pretty sure that's how I had it last time, so it's just gonna chill there. Jacksonville Rays duo. These are fucking thick, dude. They scare me. So we have Sarah Adams, which I feel like I have something else from her. And then my Hannah Grace. And Hannah Grace is bringing out a new one next month. So I have to save room for that as well. And then I just have three single standalones, which can go on that shelf, but they're sport. So I was like, I might as well just put them on here. I mean, I have a couple sports over there. I just realized I have Say You Swear. I've also got From Lock Off With Love because it's my special edition, but I like it up there because it's plain white and it blends in. So I'm leaving it up there. Whereas I probably wouldn't have space on this shelf anyway. They can probably go over there, but I don't want to put them up there. So they're going on my sports shelf. So these are my boys at Tom and love my little series. I haven't read the last one, which is is Taming 7. I've heard mixed reviews which I'm very scared but I'm gonna put them over here. But these three are my sports shelf right now. I think I'm gonna put the small town ones above and then we can just like organize it. I think that might be the way to go because originally on the top top shelf which is the extensions all the way up here I had my red white and royal blue but I'm thinking getting another shelf and putting it somewhere else because there's so many of them. <coughs> And I want to like space them out. So I'm going to leave this empty for now and then I can decide. Who knows? Anyway, we've got all of my Elsies all the way up here. So from the bottom we have the Chestnut Springs, we have Wild Love, and then we have the start of the... What series is this? I don't know. Rebel Ranch? Or Ruby Ranch? Or no, Ruby Creek, sorry. We're getting these covers in Australia, so I'm getting them whenever they come out. And I'm going to wait to buy the whole sets before I read them. I've got my Lila Sage. I fucking love these. I can't wait to get lost and lassoed in October I think or November and then I have the BK Barrison set and I only just got business casual. This has been like sold out everywhere and I only got that last night. So they can just chill up here for now. Again they're probably out of order. I will reorganize them. We have the Eden series by Devney Perry which I did have over here and then I have the Lucy Score set which I had over here originally and then we have Archer's Voice. I have the special edition annotated version 
my original copy. And then I have Falling for Cage, which is another like prequel, I guess, or sequel. I'm not sure. But I'll just put them up here for now. Watch me just stare at these shelves and try and figure out my entire life. But they look pretty. They are a mess, but they look pretty. I don't know what to do. <laughs> See, my fat head's in the way. But oh, it's signed. Yards. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Molly is over there. Get <coughs> Mom. Hello. You guys have road rage. I have bookshelf Book rage. rage. Okay, I'm going to leave it for I now. I like that. I'm going to leave it for now. Because that's apparently all my small town. I thought I had more, but it's a bit weird, isn't it? No, I, I genuinely thought you had more of them. <laughs> If I'm honest. You look so small. I am small. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. I think that's fine. It's not getting squished. No, it's not like squished up. But so the second one comes out next month, so. Well then. Shoot me! Just turn it the other way and have a little gun. Does that look like ass? Helping hands. Just got distracted by looking. I'm trying to think what to do, camera, so just watch Molly do that. Cry. I do feel like I have to move Elsie this way. Good old chestnut springy springs, guys. I think that looks good. And then Molly's doing that side. Cute. Look at that. Beautiful. There's me Sarah J, babes. Cute. Whoa, whoa. Can you tell I like my Emily Henrys? All of these are becoming a movie. Every single one of her books. I might put that here though. Oh, you're recording. Yeah. You can say hello. <laughs> the girls are back in town. I look so tall. You know, Elijah's picked me up so I could walk around the house at his height. The house looks so different. <laughs> also, don't attack me in the comments. This gap is for the new Case McQuinston. Okay? This one. So, I think that looks pretty decent actually. Like, this is like my fake. Fuck! <laughs> And then my red white is going to go in the lounge room because I have too many copies of it. Hi. <laughs> got Lauren Ash. Lauren? Who's Lauren? We've got Lauren Ash in there, guys. So you want this one just there? Um, or to the window? Yep. Don't know how we're talking in baby voices, but we have, we, can. we have trauma, guys. We're cute. Oh, I and mean, that's quite cute. Belly. Yeah, that's right, love. This is Frank. This is Frank. You grumpy old man. Grumpy bum bum. Obviously, got to put our book in the front mold. Fine. We're fine, Everything guys. Everything is fine. casually ignore everything I've mentioned in this video prior to right now because I have officially ended the video which you probably haven't seen but I know that I have finished it I gave you guys a tour of these bookshelves that I've done and then a couple days after I ordered more bookshelves we are still continuing this library setup I guess because today is currently Friday what day is it today is Friday and I'm getting my bookshelf delivered on Sunday so I will have time to obviously put it in this video and show you guys the full setup I don't remember if I told you guys my original setup plan you remember this is my standalone shelf this was moved this way I obviously moved it backwards I guess I have ordered a Billy bookshelf six big what the fuck am I on about? I have ordered a Billy Bookshelf, the wide ones, and I bought an extension for that because this has an extension, so I want them to match, obviously. And then I also bought a mini one, so a three shelf one, I think, or is it four shelves? I think it's three shelves, which will be right next to it. So this big shelf, half shelf. 
Does that make sense? Anyway, you'll be seeing more footage on Sunday when I obviously film it for you guys. My plan, kind of, is I was going to put my red, white, and royal blue in the lounge room, but now I have the shelves, I will put them in my actual library. So I'm going to be a display item, probably multiple shelves for my red, white, because I can. And then I'm honestly thinking of making the standalone shelf in that three tier so I can have them a bit more spaced out and then I can have the big shelf next to the small shelf and have them continuing like this one. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know if I'm going to make it happen. I don't know. But I ordered more bookshelves. They're coming on Sunday. I have rent to pay but we still are doing this. <laughs> this is what adulting is guys. Okay this is what my life is now. I guess now all we're going to do is just jump to me on Sunday building a bunch of Billy bookshelves and then reorganizing my shelves. It won't be reorganizing too much because all I'm probably going to be doing is changing like this shelf to this shelf. I'm thinking of making this whole thing the color and like those ones the dark. I'm not sure. I don't know the game plan. Okay I don't. But you're going to be getting cut throughs, talking, I don't know. You're going to be getting something on Sunday, probably the Monday. Because I don't know what time they're going to be delivered. Because they're giving me like a fucking 7 to 7 time bracket. So I have no idea when they're going to get here. Anyway, so enjoy whatever happens next. But also regardless of what I just said before, it's going to be changed. But again, I have mentioned already that I will be doing a full library tour. And you'll be getting that in depth, obviously, book by book as well. So just enjoy whatever happens of me building some Billy bookshelves. So let's go. Bookshelves. my bookshelves it didn't take me that long so I'm very very happy with myself and what I've done I bought the large Billy bookshelf and I bought the extension so it matched the skinny one and then right behind me we have the three shelfer because I'm planning hopefully because I don't have that many books I don't need another big one here I really don't I want to put all my frames here like my magazines and stuff but there is a football game on that I kind of want to watch because it is my team and I haven't been watching it but I'm kind of gonna think on how I'm gonna set this up I'm thinking of making the three shelf my standalones and then this whole middle shelf here continuing on will be red white and then I'll do a heart stopper one as well but I'll put all these cardboard boxes in the shed and then I will update you guys when I actually do something with the books but look how pretty it is it's so pretty. I did that. <laughs> So I know you're out of focus, but I'm going to stand all the way back here, so hopefully I'm in focus. We're currently only thrashed in the football, so I'm going to do my library. As you can kind of see, I put up my magazine frames, and I've also put the standalones in the standalone section. And then I've started, started being the keyword, trying to plan out how I'm going to fucking display these, because I have absolutely no idea. I want to show every single cover, but I also know that it's just gonna look stupid so like why do i even bother anyway so we have half over here which now i can put the magazine up because i did cut it out of the video but i was struggling so much to put it up there in this corner can you see yeah i have alice's books that aren't heartstopper i don't know what i'm doing however 
on this side i am basically going to be making everything just pretty now i'm thinking maybe i'll do my cassandra clear up up the top because right now they're not looking cute maybe my classics on the bottom i don't know i don't know guys it's going to be similar but also not going to be similar let's just do it and i'll update you somehow Dude, I am stressing to the max. So this is now the official end of the video. I have now redone everything in this library to where I'm satisfied with it. There might be a little bit more changes, like little knickknacks and everything, but as of right now, it is pretty much done and I'm here to show you guys. So welcome to my official overview of my own library. But like I've said multiple times, I am doing an in-depth library tour very, very soon. So like book by book, I will go through it, talk about it, etc, etc. But that is not this video. Today's video is obviously me organizing it and building my dream library. So let's just go through it really quickly. So I'm going to start with... I don't know actually. I'm kind of... I was kind of obsessed with this side more. But now I'm kind of obsessed with this side more. So I'm not 100%, but let's just go through and do a little bit of cut throughs for everything. I want to put you with the door first so you guys can see the vibe. This is the window. I'm going to stand here so you don't get light attacked to you. This is the right hand side of the room and this is the left hand side. Let's just do the right hand side because that's the first thing you see when you walk in the room. So these are obviously the Billy bookshelves. I have two large ones and two skinny ones. But this is what this side of the room looks like. So if I move down, hopefully no squeaky noises from the tripod. I obviously do have some room under here, which is what I wanted because it was very, very full. <laughs> but really quickly, let's just go through it shelf by shelf. So first one going in on the top, we have my Sarah J. Underneath that, we have my favorite author type of shelf. We have some Emily Henry and some Casey McQuinston. Moving down, this will be a bit confusing. This shelf here is sport, but the sport continues this way. So you'll be a bit confused when I'm showing you, but you will understand. This shelf hasn't changed. I left it as is. It's like some fantasy favorites, I guess. And then moving you down just a little bit, there's nothing underneath this shelf. We have the classics. Let's move on to the next side. We have some Harry Potter in this one. Moving up, we have my Lauren Roberts kind of shrine. I have Powerless, Powerful and Reckless. I am having its own shelf because I did get these special editions which will be coming in November and next year. Moving along 
along we are continuing with the sports section this is the off campus and the Briu series by Al Kennedy moving up we have the start of my small town so this one here is all Elsie Silver and then right at the top we have my Ellie Hazelwood as well moving up here I'm actually holding the tripod so it's not going to be good I'm going to do two at a time because a lot easier so left hand side we have Lauren Asher that hasn't changed this one is a bit of Christina Lauren some Mercedes Ron some Anna Wong as well as in there moving down we have the continuation of small town so it goes from Elsie and then these two so we have this one here which is like Mia Sheridan Lucy score and then these ones here I really like this shelf I do have my Elsie silver here as well because I know a new one's coming out so I was just chilling there even though that's Elsie silver moving down again over here we have the continuation of sport this is the last sport shelf I get a lot of sport books so we're gonna have a lot more coming in don't worry and over in this corner we just have some more kind of YA I guess is Magnolia Parks young adult I don't think so anyway we have Magnolia Parks some Taylor Jenkins Reid and some Amber Smith the rest of these don't really fit but I made them pretty this one hasn't been changed because Molly helped me with this one so it hasn't been changed over here we have some Adam Silvera and some Trisha Liverston I think her name is I'm not 100% sure though and then moving down we have the last four shelves so we have some YA here and then some more YA and then obviously some faves that are facing front on this little one here is my small smaller versions of classic so obviously it goes from this big one over here that you can't see to down here so it kind of flows and then here we have some two series we have game of thrones and lemony snickets and then moving on to over here these are the new shelves that i added in this video very last minute but it works i actually love this shelf i was originally going to change my heart stopper and red and white shelf because everything else on these two are very dark after talking to some besties of mine they agreed and with myself that it actually brings it out a bit more and proves that it's like colorful as well so this is where the three shelf is situated this is my little magazine area my young reels you guys in the drill I'm obsessed so just on top of it we have my annotating essentials and some books marks over here and again tying with the young royal scene we have my drawing that my bestie molly drew me my god <laughs> so now moving down we have the three tiers of standalones i'm not going to go through this because i am doing it in depth but these are all standalones that don't have a series or I don't have the same author, etc, etc. Well, I take that back because we have fucking Taylor Jenkins Reid right there and you know I have her other books. But again, it's just sitting there because pretty. It's in rainbow order, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I've always done rainbow order with my standalones. I just think it's pretty. I can't do it with other books, obviously. But with standalones, because there's nothing matching it, I do do rainbow order. We have these two shelves here. So I'm going to have to hold you up again, so excuse the really bad angles. Up the top top, we have my Cassandra Clare. On the bigger shelf to the left, we have most of the City of Bones. We have the Sword Catcher just chilling there as well. And then in this corner here, we have the Last Hours Trilogy because those covers are stunning. Moving down, we have kind of thriller and a murder mystery, I guess. We have some Freddie McFadden, the Holly Jackson series, and then we have Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And then in this corner here, we have the Richard Castle set. These two are pretty much my faves, and these two are the ones that you guys saw me do in this video, or tried to. I was stressing my pretty little head over these two shelves, just because these are kind of my display items, so I felt like they needed to be on point. First and foremost, we have my red, white, and royal blue you guys know this is the book that brought back reading for me in lockdown so obviously i have to um, collect them but no there obviously is a deeper meaning for me personally but it is a very personal book to me i'm obsessed so what i've done is i've had the collection editions over here i'll go through them more in the tour video but then over here i thought to do like the movie type of thing because this is the movie cover and this is the screenplay that i printed up and got binded and moving down a little bit you can't really tell but we have alice oseman and the heartstopper series so this is the heartstopper series series here and over here we have the continuation of Alice's books that aren't necessarily Heartstopper. I know Nick and Charlie is there and that's part of Heartstopper but these are the Heartstopper comics that's why I put it there. Makes sense? Makes sense in my mind. Moving along I don't know if you'll be able to see much I might put you down a little bit more however from the top here you're gonna have to ignore my stubby fingers we have some more fantasy we have Cruel Prince we've got Shadow and Bone and then in this corner here we've got like dragons I guess we have fourth wing and then in this little corner here you can't really see we have the assistance to the villain and the apprentice to the villain which I loved moving down we have some twilight I just got an email <laughs> and then this shelf here is all my dark romance I literally love this shelf it's so pretty and then down the bottom bottom we have like more YA 
type of fantasy. We have the Prison Healer series, we have Percy Jackson, Hung Games, The 100, and over in this corner we have some Jay Kristoff as well. And that is it. So that is my full library reorganizations from start to finish. I know I didn't show you guys a lot of it. I was just stressing during a lot of it. I really was. Because this is my space, obviously. I have my room, which I am trying my absolute best not to spend 24 7 in when i have really bad blackout days i spend it in there it's not the best thing to do just chilling in your room doing absolutely nothing i wanted this room to be really me and i feel like that is what i've done i feel like this is a very me area and i'm very very happy with how it turned out anyway <laughs> we're gonna stop this video now because i'm talking way too much a massive shout out to annalisa and molly my two besties for helping me out molly did help out even though she thinks that she didn't she did and annalisa obviously lives with me and she let me have this space so a massive shout out to her because if i didn't have this space i don't know where these books would be because no way in hell would they be staying in my room because don't have the room for that anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up up for me if you're new here please subscribe make a video every single thursday at 12 p.m if i'm filling up for it a library tour in-depth tour will be coming very soon i apologize for the quality of this video i know that halfway through this video my camera did actually break and went to camera heaven so i'm using a bigger camera that i'm not 100 used to at the moment it's very old not old but like i haven't used it in years but i hope you guys enjoyed this video again if you did give it a thumbs up for me all my social media links and everything i mentioned into this video will be down below like always if you have any questions comments or concerns just leave them down below and i'll get back to you guys but i'm pretty happy and content with this room and i hope you guys love it as much as i do if you don't it is completely fine this is how i like to set up my bookshelves i'm not really a straight head girly i used to be <laughs> I used to be like full on books have to go this way and then one day I just was like I'm just going to decorate my shelves in a way that I see fit and here we are so if you don't like it it's completely fine but if you like this video still give it a thumbs up for me remember to spread love and stay positive and I will see you guys in my next one bye everyone